Hi YouTube, this is going to be a short demonstration of how to convert your old Airwick air freshener into a hidden CCTV camera using a YI camera. So all we're going to do, first of all, is remove the front cover and just unclip at the back here and remove the front cover itself from the hinge, so it just clips off, just give it a good pull and it'll come off. Then what we want to do is actually remove the mechanism itself. It's just held on with two screws. So I'll take them off. This really is a simple little hack that anyone can do at home. If you've got a spare Airwick air freshener. It's extremely straightforward and anyone can do it with just a screwdriver, a hacksaw and a little bit of super glue. You're good to go. Like so. And then there's a clip at the top and a clip at the bottom of the mechanism on each side. So it can be a little bit difficult to remove, but if you pull the sides out, it'll just pop out. And what we want to do is remove the mechanism itself, and then we're going to cut the top off so that we keep the clip it's a clip the clip to hold the front cover shut so I'll just remove the screws here and the other one here And the last one. We won't be using this again, so we can pretty much just yank the wires out. A little bit tricky to get out. can try and bend the tabs back on the battery connections and pull the whole connections out uh, sometimes they're a bit of a pig so you just just give it a good pull and the wire will snap off and you know we won't be using the, the battery connections anymore the last one that Let's push that to one side and what we want to do is just literally cut the top off uh, but leaving the top screw hole in in place so 
so that we can screw it back on later on. That's the top screw there and we'll cut it straight through there somewhere. If you if you turn it over you'll see that we want to keep that clip there and we just want to run the hacksaw just below the clip and just below the screw position. Obviously if you've got a voice <laughs> then you can use a voice but I haven't got a voice at the moment so I'm having to just soldier on as they say. Okay there's the top section there we just clean the burrs off it a little bit. You won't see any of it like, anyway but it's always nice to uh, just clean the loose off. I just run a little knife round. debris out of the way. Okay, now we can replace this top section back into the rear half of the case itself. We don't need this stick here, we'll get rid of that. So all you have to do is line it back up and clip it back in. It can be a bit of a pig to line back up but Just get it back into the clip, shove it in the clip and it'll snap shut and then you can put the screw back in. That's it, nice and secure. And all that remains is to slot this in. Now conveniently it does fit quite nicely into this housing. So I'll replace the front cover on the hinge, just re-clip the hinge back on. Like so. And the camera sits perfectly just above the rib on the inside. You will have to attach the cable first to the camera. 
you can figure out which way around it goes. Once you've got it the right way around, you can clip that in. And then feed the other end of the cable through the hole in the back of the housing, which was once the, the little wheel to control the timer on the air freshener itself. You can drill a hole if you wanted to, but I've literally made this as simple as possible so anyone can do it with very little tools required. So you just have to line the camera up, just tweak it around a little bit and recheck it, just making sure that the camera can actually see through the hole. You'll notice that it doesn't actually fit together because the the base of the camera is slightly too big. It clips shut but then the clip just pops off and the, it's fouling on the front cover. So it shuts but it doesn't stay shut. And the clip isn't the best design so and you can see it's fouling on on here against the base here. So I find the best thing to do really, the quickest thing to do is just super glue, put a bit of super glue on the clip. There are a number of ways you could do it, you could put a screw in in through it but I, I thought the best thing to do to make it simple we'll just add a bit of super glue to the top of the clip Just lining it up again. So just pop a bit of glue on the edge. If you need to get it apart again, I'm sure it'll just break away. It's not the best of super glues. I'll just give it a little bit of spray with some activator and the final shot. We just hold it in place while the glue, the glue cures. And that's got it. It really is that simple. You can see it's all together. The camera's there. If you can see it, the camera doesn't focus very well. But it's in there and nicely hidden so now your YI camera is now disguised as an air freshener if you like this video please like uh, 
and subscribe and post any comments down if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching.